Good morning, friends. Today, I brought for you a morning message. And if you look at this, you can see some shapes at the top. There's a star and a triangle. So I'm wondering, where would I start reading my morning message to you? Would I start on the left with the star, or would I start on the right with the triangle? Can you shout that out? The star, right? And it says, the morning message today says, Hello, friends. Today, we will read a new story, The Tug of War. So today, I brought for you our new big book, and it's called The Tug of War. And I know we usually listen to these on our CDs, but I forgot the CD at school. Fortunately, this is our first big book that has words in it, so I can read you the story, The Tug of War. So let's look at this picture first and try to guess what we think the tug of war will be about. I see a little friend, the turtle. He's looking at himself. Does anybody know what that calls when you can see yourself? In the water, he's looking at it. Sometimes you might do this when you're brushing your hair in the morning or brushing your teeth. It's called the reflection, right? When you look in a mirror or if you look in water, you can see your reflection, right? I look at myself can you see that you can see my reflection right you can also do that when you're in the water if you're looking above it you can see a reflection hmm where does it look like this turtle friend lives does he live in my backyard hmm on a farm in the jungle do turtles live in the jungle sometimes I guess we're gonna have to find out so if I open it up, I can read you the words today. And it goes like this. Once there was a turtle in Africa. Other animals ignored him because he was small and weak. So he decided to prove that being clever was as good as being strong. So he didn't make many friends because he was very, very little. And the friends in the jungle didn't think that he was as strong as they were. But we know that this turtle is clever. Do you remember what it means to be clever? Think about La Tortuga in our last story. He was clever. He was always thinking, thinking of a plan. Well, this turtle is clever too. The turtle challenged the elephant to a tug of war. If the tug of war is a tie, you must admit I, as am, I am as strong as you are, the turtle said. The elephant laughed, but he agreed. The turtle gave the elephant one end of a vine and went far away. The first to pull the other across the road would win, he said. If the vine broke, it would be a tie. So they're going to play the tug of war to find out who is the strongest. The turtle took the vine and challenged the hippopotamus to a tug of war. The rules were the same. The hippo laughed, but he agreed. The turtle went deep into the bushes where no one could see him, and he tugged on the vine. The elephant and the hippopotamus began to pull. So now they're starting to play the tug of war. And can you see the vine that the turtle's holding? That's what they're playing with. When you play the game of tug of war, have you ever played that game before? Where each person or each team has one end of the rope or vine and you tug and you tug and you tug until the other team falls over. Well, that's what the turtle is doing. And they're going to find out who is the strongest. And the team that falls over they would call the weaker team, and the team that stays standing in tugs and tugs and tugs, they would be the winning team or the stronger team. Have you ever played that game before? The elephant and the hippopotamus huffed and groaned, pulling as hard as they could, but neither could pull the other across the road. Meanwhile, the turtle had lunch and took a nap. So is the turtle, who is right there, is he really playing the tug of war against those two animals? If you look at the picture and listen to what he said, he gave one end to the elephant and one end to the hippo. Is the turtle even hanging onto the vine? He's not holding it. So he's being clever. He's trying to trick them or outsmart them, right? He's actually napping. And both of the strong animals are pulling and pulling and pulling, but no one is falling over. 
At sundown, the turtle bit the vine in two. The elephant and the hippopotamus fell back with a crash. The whole jungle shook. So now the vine is split into two. The elephant and the hippopotamus both fell. Do you remember what that means? When the team that falls or the person that falls, are they the winning team or the, or the losing team? It would, it would mean that they are weaker, right? If they fall over, they are not strong enough to stay standing. The turtle went to the elephant. You are as strong as I am, the elephant said. May I call you my friend? The turtle said yes. Then the turtle went to the hippo. You are as strong as I am, the hippo said. May I call you my friend? The turtle agreed. And after that, all the animals were his friends. So now that the hippo and the elephant, the elephant and the hippo, they think that the turtle is a very, very strong. Did he actually pull those animals across? No, remember he snipped it, right? He snipped it in the middle and then he made the elephant and the hippopotamus think that he had actually pulled them down. But really, he had just given it to two strong animals, the vine, and then he snipped the middle. That poor, poor turtle didn't have any friends, so he decided that he needed to, to be clever. And then, after they played the game, he had gained some new friends, right? Hmm, let's think about that for a minute. So think about the friends in our classroom. Do, do all of our friends in the classroom, are they all good at the same things? Some friends are really good at coloring or drawing. Some friends are really good at building in the block area, right? Does that mean that those two friends can't be friends? No, they're just good at different things, right? So because the turtle was clever and not big and strong, the elephant and the hippo didn't want to be friends with him. How do you think that made the turtle feel? I think that would make me, me feel pretty sad, right? So then he decided to think of a way to outsmart them and show them that just because he's not big and strong, and still be friends with other animals, right? Just because you're little and someone is big. Okay, friends, I'm going to put a few other activities up for you to go with the tug of war this week, and you can try them out with me and try them out with your families. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that story.